Moisture will be moving into the region overnight as time mentioned, but the rain that will be falling will be freezing. While snow is most commonly associated with icy roads, it's freezing rain that causes the most treacherous type of road ice. NBC 25's Nikki Zizaza rode along with one police officer who sees a lot of traffic accidents due to slick roads. Nikki. That's right, Sadie. I am here in Davison. As you can see behind me, this stretch of road is dry, but come the morning, it could be covered in a thin coat of ice. Now, the police officer who I rode along with today said his department is ready, and he says that they are ready to tackle anything. Freezing drizzles what Lieutenant Jay Rendon wants motorists to prepare for. You can't stop on a dime, and even though the road uh, may have a speed limit of say 45, that doesn't mean you have to do 45. But even though freezing rain of less than a tenth of an inch is predicted to hit our area, he says an amount that small can still create the perfect conditions for a car crash. And he says extra crews will be on standby. We'll call people in early or just flat out offer up overtime. Even though he's an expert at driving on ice, it can take time to respond. With due care and caution, they always say, you don't do anyone any good if you don't get there. So um, just taking a slower, uh, methodical, careful approach, made sure uh, that we can get there to provide the help that we're called for. Some drivers saying they're being more cautious, hoping to not need help in the first place. Yeah, that's, that's really the only way to be. Um, take it slow when it's icy and that's what I do personally and I don't care what anyone else has to think about that. But ultimately Jay says he hopes confidence doesn't lead to complacency yeah. and excuses. It's not so much us, it's the others that you have to worry about. Now, Sadie, the freezing rain is expected to move into our area between 4 a.m. and 7 a.m. And drivers are encouraged to drive slowly and be careful, especially over bridges. Live in Davison, Nikki Zizaza, NBC 25 News. Back to you, Sadie. Nikki, thanks.